You guys ready? Ready. All right, fellas. Three, two, one, see ya. Base jumping is my favorite thing ever. Base is an acronym that stands for Building Antenna Span and Earth, the four main objects that you jump off of with a parachute. Within base jumping though, there's a lot of different disciplines like aerials, tracking, terminal stuff, subterminal. And one discipline that's interests me the most has been the low, low stuff. The stuff that's so low that you don't really free fall. You actually tie off a static line with a piece of brake cord and it extracts your parachute almost immediately. Over the past year, I've pushed the limits down from about 200 feet to 150, all the way down to about 118. And there has been one iconic jump that I've always had my eyes set on, Corona Arch. The past few years when I've been to Moab, I haven't felt comfortable enough to do it because it's so low. To impact or straight down, it's about 105 feet. To the actual landing is about 120. And this year, I finally felt confident enough that I could do it. All right, here's the current situation. Temperatures have dropped in Moab. It's raining, which is kind of rare for Moab. And we are spending one last day, which will be tomorrow here before we move on to Phoenix, strictly because I want to jump Corona Arch. It's been on my list forever. It's an iconic spot. I got reported to the FAA for flying my paramotor through it last year. I've flown through it a bunch of times, but I've never jumped off of it. What makes it sketchy is that it's only 110 feet tall. The lowest I've ever jumped is 118. So I'm a little bit weary. Um, the other two guys in the group right now, Ben and Colby, are not gonna be jumping it. They're not comfortable with it. But our plan is we loaded up the toy hauler with maximum propane because it's gonna be cold tonight. Uh, we got a bunch of food to make a stir fry and we're gonna spend the night camping out here. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up. It's gonna be 32 degrees. And hopefully if all goes well, I'm gonna jump Corona Arch and the fellas are gonna film from the ground and get some cool shots. Hopefully everything goes well. This is gonna be a legendary jump if it does go well. I'm really excited. I feel confident. I feel um, pretty current with everything in my skill set. So we're gonna go scope it out and hopefully tomorrow's the big day. So we got Ben in there in the kitchen again and me out here on the grill. Tonight we're doing stir fry. So Ben and I got a bunch of vegetables and rice and I'm cooking up some chicken thighs. Uh, Corona Arch is way back there in the darkness somewhere. We didn't scope it out tonight because it's uh, raining and cold. Well, it was raining before it got dark. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna wake up and do our thing, scope it out, make good decisions and hopefully send it. We made a fantastic stir fry dinner, followed by some brownies, which we realized we didn't have eggs. We tried substituting with avocados and uh, honestly, they were pretty horrible. <laughs> brownies, but we forgot the eggs. Avocados are egg shaped. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they meant. But it was a really nice night with the guys. We woke up at sunrise the next morning and hiked out to Corona Arch to scope it out. I carried with me a laser and the laser does trigonometry and it'll tell you how tall things are. Okay, we've made it to the arch. The arch is right there. Ben is set up way over there with the camera. Colby's here for ground crew and we got forest. And the thing about this site and this angle, I'm trying to jump off there and this whole area down slopes to the left and then it rolls off a cliff. And you can land over there, but it starts to get sketchy. So my plan is gonna be to go off somewhere there, come this way and hit this flat part. We just lasered it with the handy dandy laser. And to this point where I'm standing is 120 feet and I've done 118. So if everything works perfectly, I land right here. I might eat shit on the landing, but if that's worst case scenario, I'm fine. After confirming that it was doable and I was gonna do it, Ben staked out in the distance with the camera and Colby was at the bottom filming on his GoPro. I climbed up the back side of the arch, which turned out to be extremely sketchy. So here's the climb up around the backside. It was very steep sandstone with not a lot of good holds, but I got myself up onto the arch. Once I was up there, I had to figure out where I could tie off my static line. There were three different possibilities and I chose the one that seemed the best at least for my intended landing. My anxiety was pretty high, sitting on this arch with not a lot of room, slippery sandstone. I had to check all my gear, 
tie off a piece of paracord to an anchor and set up my static line. What I was feeling in this moment, I felt confident that the jump was plenty high. My parachute was going to open, but I wasn't that confident in how my landing would be. Worst case scenario was I would land hard and maybe break a leg or an ankle or something. And there's not really any cell service back here. So I was kind of relying on my friends to carry me out. I was pretty confident that wasn't going to happen though. Once everything was set in place, there was really one thing left to do, to just jump. All right, I'm sitting here precariously on the arch. Uh, paramotor has just arrived and I'm pretty much set up, ready to go. This is my setup. <laughs> I'm on this little ledge, there's the shadow of the arch, and I'm gonna run off here and hopefully land right down in there. I'm a little bit nervous, but <laughs> the nervous ones give you the best payout. So I'm gonna get geared up and we'll be ready to go. Wind still feel good down there? I have like a slight headwind, which is good. Bro, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, the f***. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that was random. You guys ready? Ready. All right, fellas, three, two, one, see ya. Huge shout out to my buddies for ground crewing, getting the shot, and being there if anything went wrong. In the next video, we hiked up Periot Mesa, and it was an experience, so stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, please drop a like and check out our merch, first link in the description, at tuckergot.com. At Risky Biscuits Co., we just restocked a bunch of our classic designs, and we have some new hoodies in the vintage design, so check it out. Till the next one, have fun, fly safe, peace.